so yes, we are in 2070 now, um, and humans are still around. We are still talking about science because science is part of the society. Yeah, back in 2017, people were actually really afraid that with the development of the new technologies, of all those screens, smartphones, and stuff, that we will lose the, the really the social part of human interactions. But I think we, we managed not to, to lose it, and people still interact directly, looking in the eyes of people. The clothing changed, don't you think? Yeah, it totally changed. I mean, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Quite unbelievable. The hairstyle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also eine Sache, die sich verändert hat, ich weiß noch 2017, da waren wir hier und es war eisig kalt und es war der kälteste Januar seit 30 Jahren. Die Palmen da vorne vor dem Fenster zum Beispiel, die hätte man vor 100 Jahren oder vor 50 Jahren hier noch nicht gehabt. We have that one guy, he, I think he was even at the, one of the conferences in the early 2000s. Um, he, he did this uh, age longevity thing and he's now around 160 years old. Im 2017 habe ich DEMPA geleitet, Materialforschung und Technologieentwicklung gemacht. Ja. 2070 bin ich, nachdem ich zwar mal pensioniert war, dabei wieder zurück und äh, beschäftige mich mit Fragen aus der Wissenschaft, wie sie heute sich darstellen, weil wir sind ja durch eine große Transition gegangen. We can utilize now all the chemical and the biology knowledge to create organisms that we can then use nowadays and we take it for granted to have an artificial skin, etc., etc., etc. You know, I mean, nowadays, you know, the average age that we all turn into is 120 or maybe even it's going to go up in the future. Back then, people died at age 80. Unbelievable. And, you know, they were proud of that achievement because 100 years before, people died at age 50. So we've learned how to treat diseases and how to heal de diseases much better. And whether this is good or not that we all live so long, that's another question, but we have exactly. achieved it. The success um, that we see right now is, I guess, coming from the realization that, in a way, everybody has an inner scientist. And people sometimes need to think differently so as to bring up new solutions, to answer questions which are not answered. In this conference, I think people are really uh, emphasizing and recommending that they should support people who are really thinking differently. And, and even if the risk is very high, sometimes we need to invest. Das Verrückte ist, man hat ja zuerst eine gemeint, mit der Digitalisierung denken wir alles lösen. Ja. Und man hat dabei eine festgestellt, dass die Digitalisierung uns zum Teil wieder zurückgeworfen hat, die Denkmuster, wie wir sie im Mittelalter hatten. Die grossen Fortschritte sind dann gekommen, wo man sich wieder hat können lösen und realisiert hat, dass es nicht eine Elite gibt, da auf der einen Seite und da die, das Volk und die Popularisierung, wo man das hat können da brechen und realisiert hat, dass man muss zusammenarbeiten an dem zukünftigen Problem, dass eben ein Wissenschaftler so viel wert ist, wie vielleicht ein Politiker, dass so viele äh, ein anderer, wo eine Lehre macht, äh, den Garten pflegt und die alten Leute vor allem auch mitpflegt, eben genauso einen wertvollen Beitrag an Gesellschaft macht. Ich denke, was sich verändert hat, war diese, ein Bewusstsein, dass man über Wertefragen redet und dass diese Fragen oder diese Formate auf bestimmte Objektivitätskriterien schlichtweg verzichten müssen, weil es um eine Wertefrage geht. In the mid, uh Uh, 2020s, early early 2020s, there was a, a real crisis uh, around the world. 40 years ago, science was very promising. We talked about open science and, and, and get, get, uh, share our data. But what happened was that some of the big companies, they profited from that and, and built up an enormous knowledge system, exactly what we, the funders thought we should do. Build a system that is based on knowledge management and, and innovation and took all away. So a few people controlled and, and the rest just lost. So in the early days I was specifically studying ants and socially exchanged fluids. Who are the ants who are feeding those, um, those larvae, those young ants? It's the youngest ants in the colony. So an ant colony is a network of individuals. So they're all communicating through this channel of this social fluid. But it's only the ones who are the most implicated in the task of rearing the next generation that get the biggest say. And so this is 
the, was the, the breakthrough for the new type of democracy that has recently been established, which is uh, pretty unbelievable. It's been, uh, I mean, I am old now, but uh, this was a really a, a youth movement. So now I don't get much of a vote because I have only so many years left on the planet. Depending on what uh, issue is being voted upon, I mean, you know, we are still Switzerland, and so different groups have, uh, there are different proposals that are put forward, and depending on who those are gonna affect the most strongly, uh, their votes are somewhat weighted. Uh, we got so close to uh, very terrible problems, I'm glad we made it out uh, with the power of, um, of scientific thought and critical thinking. And you know now, as we all know, we use not only solar, we use also wind energy, and we've come up with these fantastic bacteria that can produce the energy. Ja, die Technologie, die wir früher hatten, die gibt es nicht mehr wirklich. Das haben wir jetzt alles im Körper. Das ist auch noch spannend. <lacht> ja, wir brauchen nicht unbedingt mehr irgendwelche Mikrofone, wir brauchen nicht irgendwelche Kopfhörer oder so. Die Übersetzungen können sich ganz einfach machen über irgendwelche Implantate. Well, I mean, people came to realize that um, artificial intelligence was very extremely valuable. Uh, and when you just look at the facts and you compare, okay, what is the life without artificial intelligence and what is the life with artificial intelligence, then, I mean, you, I mean, the facts are there. So you, you would be stupid to just, uh, I mean, it's like rejecting medicine. I think we went through a lot of struggles by, and, and a lot of, of wars, which we lost a lot of people. And we, we learned to be more careful, t taking a bit more care of of ourselves. Also 2017 haben wir mittlerweile da schon unsere Weltbevölkerung können stabilisieren. Wir haben Krieg weiter reduziert und das ist eine möglich war nicht unbedingt eine technologische Entwicklung, sondern eine Entwicklung im Geist, dass die Leute realisiert haben, was braucht für man miteinander zusammenschafft. A couple of years ago there was a science ritual that was uh, recreated uh, where in every villages, um, towns um, people were gathering to celebrate science. Uh, so all the kids that are of the age of uh, seven are um, in, involved in a procession and they are dressed as what was in 2017 the, the costumes of, um, of um, I don't know, people receiving a degree. Uh, so they were uh, wearing a gown and uh, this uh, hat, flat hat, uh, and we were giving them uh, diplomas. And then uh, during the day, or during the multiple days in some cities, it's, uh, I mean, they celebrate that for a week. Um, then there are a lot of discussions between uh, so-called scientists and so-called non-scientists. Das Auditorium ist bunter geworden. Früher waren wir doch meistens hier noch Schweizer mit ein paar Deutschen dazwischen. Und ähm, sehr viel internationaler. Weniger dominiert von Amerika und England. Viele Chinesen und viele Afrikaner auch seit ein paar Jahrzehnten. Das hätte es damals nicht gegeben.